Hi, I'm Ryan, and welcome to my coding bootcamp journey. In this series, I will share my experiences as I learned to code through Flatiron School's web development program. If you know anyone that would be interested in this series, please send them to the link at the bottom of your screen. So before I actually get st started here, um, I uh, I recently went, uh, well, in the last uh, video I mentioned, uh, developed uh, Denver, uh, which that uh, concluded yesterday. So it was just a small, uh, a small uh, community run, like two day con conference. And uh, so I just wanted to give, kind of give a quick recap. So um, it, uh, I didn't, um, and didn't really meet meet any anyone. I mean, it was like, again, it was uh, mostly uh, lo local people, and I think it was like uh, four hundred fifty uh, attendees. So you then see a lot of the same same people um, at at at, ver at various points, and so uh, definitely fe felt like uh, pretty. Uh, I, I don't want to say, but um, more. More person, I I I don't know. It just, it didn't feel uh like you know with a lot of tech conferences they're like at least twice at least twice the size and so it didn't feel like as anonymous. I get I guess would be the better way to put it. Um, this is the first time that I went and I really I really liked uh it's its uniqueness um it was uh spread out across like five different small venues like an art gallery another one was a re restaurant and so there was a real sense of like changing contexts going going from from one panel or talk talk to uh to another so uh so yeah I made made a lot of uh real real good uh con connections and uh so yeah so that happened So what is new this week aside from the yeah I wanted to put that up the the top Anyway um this this week I finished up with uh Refactoring with helpers and model methods. So uh, there, in a, no, a number of the labs, uh, we've been, you know, the, the tests have been written where you could put logic in the views and, and, only, and it would only display certain in, information um, it, and under cer certain conditions, uh, which is a bit outside of the uh, of what of what the point the view is is just is d display the uh, the data presented to it by by the controller, and so that um, with uh, help helpers and um, they they allow you to full more uh, in encapsulate uh certain certain like lo logic uh pro processes and and what and whatnot and just be able to call call it with uh call it with a, with a simple me method call so there's le lessons in uh again uh in encapsulating different uh, different pro processes and uh re reinforce the uh the you know, do, do not repeat yourself or sing, single responsibility and that and that kind of thing. And as far as struggles, well, this is uh, so I was uh, stuck stuck on uh, when I was work working on uh, lab invol involving uh, setting up nested uh, resources and mean by that let's let's take po uh post and comments for for instance um a you can't you can't make a create a comment object without a post i think mean, because there needs to be a post in order for someone to comment on so uh a com comment would be under so like an example url is post slash one slash comment slash 10 or something it would be like the 10th 10th comment on the first on the very first post 
kind of thing. So, uh, I, I was, uh, I was, I was stuck, stuck on the lab and I was par pairing with the, with the technical coach and, uh, he's like, wait, well, hold on, let, let's, let's check your routes file. I'm like, oh, wait a second. Did I, <laughs> like, oh, there's, <laughs> And then you know, look, look, looking through. I'm like, oh, I forgot the index route. And of course, you know that that was the <laughs> that was what the problem, what, what the uh, I issue was. So, you know, just little little you know little things like that. So, um, so yeah. It's, And as far as uh, victories uh, during this week in uh, in the, our weekly co uh, our weekly study group for cohort, um, he he was working on built, um, certain parts of a Rails app, which it would be you know the nested routes and the helpers. And at one at one point uh, towards the end, he was talk talking about you know what. Speaking with uh, you know more senior people trying trying to uh, get get uh, get hi get hired and as far as like what they're looking for in you know in in your code as far as what when I mentioned earlier you know the do not repeat yourself and single responsibility and that kind of thing and looking at it with the eye of Am I com am I comfortable with this person writing in our code base? So you know it, it was neat to uh, kind of get some uh, some some insight on on that. So yeah, I would definitely consider that a victory. And what am I looking forward to? So. Uh, our uh, next uh, portfolio project is uh, the first week of uh, September, so we still have a little a little bit uh, to to go in rails, but uh, I'm I'm definitely look looking forward to uh, to uh, start starting up uh, the this uh, pro project. Uh, I the I I wanted to do something in, invol involving like solar panels. So um, I'm not sure what uh, what what kind of uh, app I'll I'll build, but it will involve uh, solar panels because because uh, global warming is a real thing, and uh, we really need to start making big strides in that. So uh, maybe I'll you know I'll think I'll think of uh, something that I'll make it uh, hope. We make that uh, that ent entry point into getting solar solar panels for for yourself uh, a little bit a little bit easier in some way. Um, I'm 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 not sure. Um, that that um, yeah, haven't had much uh, time to think about it. But um, but yeah, that um, that's kind of my plan at this point. So uh, that's all I have uh, for, this, for this week. Uh, I do thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date, please, please like and subscribe. Feel free to check out the rest of this series. And if you do have any comments or questions, please post them below. And I'll see you in the next chapter.